Hello tacticians, it's Nox here and I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas and I wish you the best new year as well. Before I go into today's content, I just want to say my thank yous and they go to Millhouse, Ben EV, Nova Fox, Red Nose Talisker and Player3281. All of you have used my friend code and it is very much appreciated as it really does help me out. So thank you once again. And before we start talking about Vitruvius, I would like to announce the winners of the scroll competition that I started just before Christmas. And the main winner of the 10 scrolls is ChiA92, who actually has already got in contact with me and have claimed the scrolls. And then I've got three runner-up prizes who are going to get five scrolls each. And the winners of the five scrolls are Derek Conrad, 4235, Savage Predator, 4945, and Tacticus Forever. I have actually given your comments a like and commented on them, so hopefully you'd have something in your email saying, please contact me, because unless you contact me, I can't give you your codes. You have until the 6th of January to get in contact. If you haven't gotten contact by then, I'm afraid the codes won't be of any use. So congratulations for winning, but try and get me that email quickly. So now on to Vitruvius and the event itself. Now, as you can see, I have unlocked Vitruvius and I'm working very hard to get him up to silver one so I can use him in the next PvP tournament where I think he's going to catch a few people by surprise. But what about the legendary event itself? Well, these are the teams that I've been using. In Alpha up to Battle 7, I've been using Morgan Ra, Azrael Volk, Brother Burchard and Toth. Now, I'm actually very, very impressed with Toth. The fact that he heals himself as he goes along is actually quite a lifesaver. And then Battle 9 and Battle 10, I've had to swap out Azrael and Volk for a couple of close combat units, and that's why I haven't got the ranged ones there. I've got very close on Battle 10. I'm literally down to like one or two characters before I lose my last one myself. I'm probably going to have to change it about a little bit and start doing individual missions for Battle 10 onwards. However, for Beta, this team is fantastic. I've got Azrael, Brother Burchard, Bellator, Commissar Yarrick and Isabella. This team, mostly gold one, has taken me all the way through to Battle 12. As long as you make sure that Isabella is safe in the middle and you've got uh, Bellator and Brother Burchard who are taking the brunt of the damage, you will do fine. Even if Commissar Yarrick is getting a bit hit, you probably will still be okay because of his resilient trait. He can go all the way down to one, and as long as he's not overkilled, Isabella will actually give him extra health back, which again means he can take more hits. This team has been absolutely fantastic. And then on Gamma, uh, I'm struggling on Gamma, I don't mind to admit. Uh, only been able to get up to battle seven with this team. And from this point on, I'm probably gonna have to break it down to just get those extra points as I go along. But to be honest with you, at this point, I'm probably gonna start filling in all the blanks on the previous battles just to get some easy points as this legendary event continues, which will then give me time to probably put another um, tier on Toth to get him up to gold two. And based on the performance, I may do the same for Azrael because both of these characters have been fantastic in this legendary event. Now, going back to Alpha, I saw a number of comments on the official Discord when it comes to the maximum of one hits lineup because of the scarabs that come out. It's very hard to deal with them. Now, in my mind, there's one character who stands out above all others that will help for this particular one, and that is Pistillion. And you're probably wondering why, and it's his Blight Racks, his passive ability, where any friendly ranged unit standing in a hex adjacent to Pistillion deal an additional amount of blast damage, and it's this blast damage which will take care of those swarms because the damage will go across all the swarms and not just kill one. Now, if you don't have Pestilian, all is not lost, there are some very good characters that you can use. The first up is Archimatos. He can summon in those blood letters and 
make sure you can surround the scarabs and that's like another six characters you have in the game they will get picked off fairly quickly because they're not the toughest troops but they can certainly help you out in a pinch and then following a similar sort of line is abraxas now abraxas has got his summons and and they will do exactly the same thing as the blood letters the benefit here is if you have Yazagor as well. You can do that switcheroo that we've seen in the past and summon in even more. This will really help you out if you're having troubles on those single hit ones. Of course, the characters themselves and the summons will need to be of level, which will help you out. So those four characters would make a very good start. I have still yet to go through doing the single hits and I imagine I'll be using these. We are, of course, only halfway through this event, so there's still plenty of time to work on all of these missions, just incrementally increasing each score. And remember, if you have maxed out everything you can possibly do with your team, you can still just go for the kills, as the next mission will unlock. As you can see here, I've killed everything in Battle 10. I haven't completed any missions, and indeed, I haven't actually done it in one go. But Battle 11 is open and that gives me another 57 kills and that in itself is another 114 points because each kill is two points. So if you're really pushing for those last few points, consider just going up to the next battle and doing it a couple of times to get all the kills needed. So let me know how you are getting along with this legendary event. And of course, if you find these videos helpful at all, please consider using my friend code as it really does help me out. Or if you or your guild are looking for a new home, please reach out to any of the guilds shown as we are always welcoming new members into our midst. As always, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll be seeing you and maybe Vitruvius on the battlefield.